in our um, video, it seems like every so often, like it seems like a couple of games, have a couple of days have gone, and already it's like every an hour Super Bowl is apparently happening. As you've seen from the title, guys, we're going to be discussing in my thoughts on this new British Super League that's getting um, rambled on um, all over Twitter, um, obviously Twitter, all that. Seen it, I've seen it all. Um, um, just two seconds there. Um, I seen it just about even an hour ago. Maybe I seen some uh, my Celtic fan page just tweet it out. Um, old firm to join a Super League. That is a question. Um, the Premier League is planning on a British Super League with Celtic and Rangers. Um, FIFA president Gianni Infantino recently gave his blessing for cross cross border leagues when asked about proposals for mergers. Um, mergers um, between Holland and Belgium and Mexico um, and the MLS. Um, one club so said whether or not the Super League was going to happen. Um, we all feel that, that the Premier League has to be changed and improved. Uh, it's time we opened it up to Rangers and Celtic. That would make sense for everything. Um, and obviously just shows you some pictures um, from you know the past um, times we've been to England. You know, the most memorable one I think beat Sunderland by a long one. We actually hammered them. Um, it was the Daffabet Cup, because um, we were obviously both sponsored by Daffabet. Uh, we played some of the ex Celtic fans were actually brilliant down there, there was a few seen it. Um, how do we feel about this, guys, in the comments of our Celtic fans? How do you feel? Uh, I just stopped my throat up so. Um, how do you feel, guys, about this new um, British Super League that's getting thrown about? Um, one person says it's great for us, money-wise, but we'd better not go than but we're better not than lose clubs who try breaking away from the European Super League. Scottish football would die without us, as I said, uh, from the text here. It would literally destroy in front of our eyes. It's just, it would be destroyed. Um, I'd love to show those English um, English teams that we can compete, but, this, but to sacrifice the game in Scotland, yeah, no thanks. I totally agree with that. Um, you know, you, you want to show England, England that Celtic and Rangers can both compete, but um, losing Scottish football is too much uh, um, when people have tried. Um, when you know people put money in the club, fans have put money in the Scottish football, um, Scottish the clubs, own clubs to help them stay up. I remember one because I just stayed in, um, stay up from the street from Morton. They were literally going. I think they were going. I think um, they had no money to pay, but like uh, I think it was a like tax or debt or something like that, um, or something like that. No, they don't. No, no, no. I think anyway. I'm not too sure in the history of Morton. I, I'm not a Morton supporter, of course, but. I'm pretty sure they went down to League 2 and stuff and they helped Morton with having, like, the, they put money in it, but they raised money and they finally also got back to the Championship. Um, and fans, that it shows you the, the Scottish football fans, it's really, really good to see that. Um, if you say yes or no, make sure um, to see whether you're for it or against it, guys, in the comments below. Um, what do you think of it? Um, I think it would end Scottish football, to be honest. Um, I think it would take away the, the best driver in Scotland, to be honest. In the UK, for what um, you know, what I don't understand, man. Um, you know, it would just be one of those leagues, man, and um, it, it's just again, I think it'd just be more money than um, Celtic Rangers just moving down to the Premier League, the British Super League, and all Super League. Um, would be it would actually be terrible for Scot uh, Scottish football. Um, it would definitely kill the derby field because you'd be playing each other. So um, like twice as or even more more than that, and you already are doing in the the Premiership already. Um, Celtic Rangers play each other four times in a, a season. Um, I think that's more than enough. Um, so if you had to play more than that, then you'd just kill it really. Um, some people are saying it's good. I don't think it would, to be honest. Um, not just for. Would you actually see if Celtic, and plus, um, Celtic fans, I know Celtic fans are away grounds, they're absolutely excellent, um, paying all the money to go and see Celtic play away, but if you're thinking about it, if you're going, I know it would be great stadiums to go to, but the amount of money they're going to charge, um, if this obviously Super League comes to actually happening, um, this British Super League, if the money, the amount of money they would make on it from fans, like, as I say again from the, the European Super League, which is further than the mud now, um, they're not wanting fans that want um, they're going to be there every week, like um, 
like season tickles. They don't want to move fans. They want tickets, you know, normal tickets, you know. You know, they just don't want the ordinary fans. And I think this British Super League's just a load of nonsense again. I don't, I mean, obviously the a su European Super League, it's not, it's not even done with yet because Barcelona is um, saying they're still in it. They want to make a difference and the president of the Super League um, says they're, make, they're going to change their thoughts and stuff and try and get the teams back in. But it's just ridiculous. We feel we're going to take action on these teams and, and they're already in financial trouble, both Barcelona and Real Madrid. So you're thinking, why are they still doing this? Uh, I have no idea, um, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I'm not too much sure about it, but um, I'm still agreeing on what, I don't know why this British Super League is getting rumoured about. I really don't. It's just, if it does happen, it's just, it, it's very sad to see it. I, I know it would be, I know people obviously dream about it because like, oh, we're fed up playing, um, you know, um, the same teams every season basically obviously you get a wee few uh, like surprises um, like the teams coming up um, obviously Hearts will be coming back up this uh, next uh, for next season to be honest um, I'm st I'm against it uh, it's not going to happen it, it won't work to be fair it won't work you, Celtic and Rangers obviously it would be great prospect to go down there and see to put a good fight up but is it going to be the same as the European Super League where there's no relegation you know are we talking? Are we talking just money wise? Are we just talking money again? Um, if this rumour was to come true, and um, it did happen because UEFA are happy to open the cross border thing. Um, I mean, in one half of me would say, "Oh, it's great. We play. Oh, you play Man United. Oh, you play uh, Tottenham or something like that." Blah blah blah. Right, but I don't think it would work. To be honest, like, all right, you might beat your your Aston Villas or your. Um, you know, your West Broms maybe if they stay up this season or your, I, I don't know, Norwich are getting promoted, maybe next season for example, right? But anyway, but you wouldn't, it's, it's great to see Celtic play Man United or Tottenham or Chelsea, right? But, the thing is, you're going to get battered, right? I'm, I'm no offence to, obviously, my club Celtic or Rangers, but you could put up a good fight against the top, the, the top, the bot, except from the top and six, you could put a great fight up, but, to be honest, you know, you're not going to win much games and it's not going to be very, very fun to, or enjoyable, should I say, to watch. Because um, it's just going to run you off the park, to be honest. Um, and you're talking about the whole rebuild I said this season as well. You know, it's just a shambles, this all Super League thing. Just get it away from the heads of people, man. It just needs to... I mean, I don't know what your thoughts are, guys, but I'm not happy with it, to be honest. I'm, I'm not... I, I don't want it to happen, to be honest. Um, if the news did, um, I don't know well, it, it's just, I wouldn't really want it because, another reason I wouldn't like it because, um, because, you know, as I said from the, the, the first point I made, people have put money into Scottish football, their own clubs, and, um, to see Scottish football, if the out at Rangers go, it would literally die, it would literally sink in the mud in seconds, it would like sink in sand, because it's it. If Celtic Rangers aren't in that Scottish Premiership, there is nothing. I'm sorry there are clubs in there, I'm sorry, but there is nothing there. Like, Sky, Sp Sky, Sky won't do any deals there, because there's no old firm derby. You know, they might put a wee old game on and say Hibs, Hibs Marlowe or something like that, or, or Hibs Ar Aberdeen, you know, you know what I mean? But, I don't, I, I don't see it happening. It's just another, you know, you're a couple of days on from... Um, we're still talking about this European Super League because it still might ha it still is in the mix that uh, uh, Barcelona are still in it and Real Madrid they're all in that stuff um, but it, whether it will go on further than the Euro this Super League and actually take place is I don't know but I hope it doesn't guys um, please subscribe and like guys um, great su recent support in the channel uh, if you can hit 1.2 thousand subscribers for a 1 point, we're on 1,015 subs, can we make that 1.2, which is 1,020 subs, can we make that by, let's say, Monday, um, this video, obviously, is going out on the Thursday, uh, this is Thursday night, so, we should get there, guys, um, <laughs> so we need five more subs, guys, so, make sure to share the video as well, um, and make sure to comment down below, guys, what's your thoughts on this, um, British Super League that's, um, going about, um, because I saw obviously UEFA, pre um, I think it's UEFA president said that um, he's welcome to cross-border leagues. So 
we need to find out where what teams you know what teams are going to be in this cross board league, or is it just going to be Celtic and Rangers going to the Premier League? Is that just going to be it? Um, whether this will, will change the Premier League, I don't see it happening. Or is it going to be whether is there going to be clubs coming out of the Premier League, which is going to cause chaos again, and going to this British Super League with Celtic and Rangers? I don't. It's just a disaster in one one literally one sentence. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you here, guys. To, um, as I said, subscribe and like, and I'll I'll keep you posting any news that's happening. Um, probably if you want, I'll probably discuss more about the European Super League. Um, on let's talk let's talk football on that podcast. Um, pretty soon. Um, probably tomorrow or something like that. Um, later on that day. But yeah, guys, and I'll see you guys. Um, for another video pretty soon. Yeah. Um, obviously there's no <laughs> no Celtic preview. To, no Celtic game this weekend because obviously. Uh, let's not talk about last week in the Scottish Cup game. Uh, so see you guys soon and hope you all keep safe. Eh? Will the restrictions open up? So, peace.